Welcome back guys and today we are going to be checking out this Ram 1500 Rebel with additional TRX parts and it is a collaborative project between John Bowling and GPJK. Now as you can see this is a fully branded truck it is also a donator access truck and I will leave their links in the description box down below so that you guys that are interested can get in contact with them about truck access but without any further ado let's see what this thing is like to drive let's see what kind of customization options it has and let's uh, just kind of walk ourselves through it and then we'll take it out of the track and then also take it out on some trails. Now, before we do that, though, let's see what it sounds like. It sounds really, really good. And actually, if you look, you can get a little bit of a closer look at the details with that. It's actually got a fully modeled interior cage as well. Really, really neat stuff. So let's go ahead and recover back to the garage and walk through some of the customization options. Now, engine-wise, you have two options. You have a 6.2 liter Hemi and you have a race 6.2 liter Hemi. You have one gearbox option. It's a single six-speed. You have two suspension options. One is stock and then the other one is like stock but a little higher. Now, these both have a tow adjustment mode. So when you hit the active suspension button, basically what that does is it raises the rear up to give you a little bit more load-bearing capacity for pulling trailers around. Now, tires-wise, you start off with 37s, and then the list repeats once you get up to, I believe, a 39. And if you want to go for a more, like, lower-profile tire kind of show truck look, that option is there as well with these wheels that are made by Juicy Fruits. So let's go ahead and make our way down through the list of tires. I am currently on the 41-inch tires, but as you can see, the list repeats in 37, 39, and and 41. Now, for these wheels and tires that have, you know, like I said before, the really low profile stuff, you have a choice of three different color options for these wheels, but when you're on the tires that I'm on right now, you actually have a really good variety of wheels that go all the way through a bunch of different, actually, a bunch of different styles that I really, really like. You have, you have these, let's see, black Advan wheels, you have uh, American Racing in black and chrome, you have black Rhino wheels, you have KMCs, a couple of different KMCs, actually. You've got kind of an old school chrome style wheel you got a black style uh wheel in the same uh kind of like that same vein then you have the stock trx style wheels and then you have the archon victories in three different colors so now let's move along to some of the other options now bed options wise you have the spares which you can either leave in or take out which also comes with that roll bar with a light bar mounted on top of it then you also have the toolbox that can go all the way at the back along with a tailgate that is fully removable depending on whether you whether or not you like having the tailgate there now you can also have the hitch on there or you could just opt to have it completely removed depending on what you plan on doing with this truck now the windows are also installable and removable depending on what you want to do with that or you could do any combination of both the front and rears uh together so i'm going to actually do front windows down rear windows up and then if we go over to, oh, wait a minute, let's just verify and make sure that there aren't any other winch options, which there really is only one, but that's the only one you need on this thing. And then the wheels wise, we already went over those. So now into the color options, you actually have a really, really broad, really broad spectrum of colors with everything from, you know, kind of like a... Uh, kind of like a like a woodland green, army green, all the way up to like, you know, a bright purple if you want to go that route. Or like a, you know, kind of like an off green or like a like an aqua blue or like an orange, like multiple different uh, shades of orange. You have a bright red, you have like a slate gray. Really, whatever route you want to go with these colors is completely and totally up to you. And then as far as that goes, now it's time to get it out of the garage. And firstly, we're going to take it to the racetrack. And then after that, we'll take it off road on some trails. Now, with the way this truck is set up, you guys will see very, very quickly that when you have the race Hemi in this thing, it is not only properly fast, but it's also set up really well to just rip some laps around this track. Now, I'm not really even going to do the whole, like, I'm not even going to wait at the start line. I'm just going to jump right into it and go. All right, let's see what we can do. As you can see, it's literally already up in fifth gear. And whenever you go over, like, even the slightest bump, it's very, like, it's very quick to, like, absorb whatever is underneath its weight. Now, ah, uh, easy. That was my bad, though. I understeered it straight into the... That's why. Yeah, you definitely want to have the all-wheel drive on when you're going around corners in this truck. That way, the front tires will also help pull you into the corner. 
Whereas when you leave it in rear drive, it, it's a little bit easier to drive in a straight line in rear wheel drive. But when you're in a corner, it likes to understeer a lot more when you're in rear wheel drive. So let me actually go a little bit higher up on the banking now. And then just ease it back down. Not bad at all. Bro, this thing is ripping. Let me see if we can get it. Oh, dude, easy. As long as you kick the clutch just a little bit, it will stay in like fifth and sixth gear. It's really good about that. Let's see if we can take this without flipping forwards. Oh, yes, actually. Yes, it can. I mean, it, it kind of, you know, went a little bit of a dive, but not bad at all. I'm going to make a little bit of a run through the pit road, get this thing repaired. We'll go for one more lap. I think we'll time this one just to see what it feels like, and then we'll get this thing out on some trails and see what that feels like. Ease this guy up through here. Let's go! Wow, that was like a rolling start if I've ever seen one. All right, let's get on after it. Come on! Now, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this truck, and also if it's a truck that you feel like you would drive a lot, whether that be in, re uh, in real life or in SnowRunner, because I think this thing would be an absolutely amazing truck to have whether you're talking about real life stuff or SnowRunner stuff. I left in an automatic mode that time because I wanted to see if it would stay up in sixth gear or if it would shift down. And actually, to my surprise, it stayed pretty high up in the revs. That's really good. It kept its speed up in automatic mode too. Ooh, a little bit of three wheel action. Come on, let's go. Feather it on the way in, feather it on the way in. Come on, there we go, not bad. Stay focused. I think I can keep the speed up. I think, oh yeah, easy. And then I threw it back into high just so I could maintain some of my momentum coming out of that mud pit. This thing is so incredibly like smooth to drive. I, I hesitate to say that it's like, when I say it's easy to drive, I say that as a compliment, not like as in, you know, oh, it's easy to drive. It's like not, you know, not a big deal. It's not that it's not a big deal. It's more along the lines of like, it's so easy to drive that you can drive this thing fast and focus on other things that are going on around you rather than constantly focusing on keeping the truck on the track. Now that was a one minute, nine second lap, which is really, really good. Now let's recover back to the garage, get the thing repaired, and then we're gonna take it out on some trails. Now, as far as taking it out on some trails go, we actually have access to quite a few really good testing areas right around the garage in Tennessee, which of course this is being performed on the Tennessee map in the season seven, uh, season seven public test server. So let's give you a little bit of a flex test first. Come on. Oh, there we go. Let's get the all-wheel drive on. Not bad. Dude, that's that's really good. Like, that's a properly respectable amount of flex. And it, like, fully stuffs that tire up into the fender. That's really, really good. All right, so now let's get this thing out onto some more kind of rocky-ish, muddy-ish obstacles. And we'll see how it replies to... Re replies? Is it going to talk to me? We'll see how it responds to that. I'm gonna put it in low plus for this. Diff lock, actually, just standard low seems to work really well. There we go, diff lock is always gauged. Put it in low plus and ease it up these rocks. Oh dude, not bad. It's still got plenty of low end torque when you're in low plus. And you actually, low plus in this truck feels like normal low in a lot of other trucks. That, and I say that as a good thing. Scraping the bumper a little bit, but Man, it really does walk right up this stuff. Well, until it, yeah, until it beaches itself and gets fully high centered. Oh. Come on. Dude, there it is. There it is. And if you can actually get the momentum right, you can bump this thing up whatever set of rocks and obstacles you want. And it actually didn't tear up the truck all too bad. I mean, it tore up the bumper a little bit, but I mean, that's kind of gonna happen when you're wheeling something. All right, let's make our way back down. And then now we're gonna go through this little notch area that gets a little tricky the further on you get. So let's do this in standard low. And if we find that we need a little bit more torque, we'll do it in low plus, but I don't think we're gonna need to. Come on, there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Dude, that thing just absolutely walked its way right through that. That was awesome. It's actually super sure-footed, and it's got an amazing, like, way, the way the center of gravity is tuned, it's got an amazing weight balance. 
give it a little bit more wheel speed and see if that helps. Or not. Maybe not. I was gonna try to I was trying to see if we could notch that, but it didn't really seem to want to notch that. Come on, there you go. Not bad. If you go up the like one side or the other, it's fine. But I think because of how far the stock front bumper hangs out over the front of the truck, it doesn't really want to like allow you to notch straight into that. Does a really good job at climbing up whatever you wanted to climb, though. It, like, for a basically stock body truck, I mean, this thing, this thing is an absolute ripper, though. Like, it absolutely just devours whatever is in its path. Now, one thing that I have not tried it in yet is mud. And I think that before we, before we finish this test, before we do anything else, we need to get this thing out into some proper mud and see how it feels out there. Now, I'm sure that if we took it into some of the really, really deep areas, we could definitely swamp it out, but that's not necessarily my main goal. My main goal is not to just immediately swamp out the truck. My main goal is more to figure out what the limits of it are, kind of, you know, within what areas of mud it can realistically play in. So let's see. Dude, I mean, I know we got it some body damage, but it blasted straight through that absolutely just sent it through there. I wish we had some body damage repair out here, though, because that was not pretty. Or at least we made the truck not anywhere near as pretty as it was before. Now, this will be an interesting one. Oh, back it up real quick. Shift it around. Dude, this thing, man, with that race engine, it just absolutely gets down and goes. As long as you're, like, whoa. As long as you're willing to just, like, feather the throttle just a little bit, I cannot believe the level of control this thing has. Even in, even when you're sending it way faster than you probably should, the center of gravity tuning is, like, so top-notch that you just don't really ever have to worry about flipping over. I mean, I'm going way faster than I have any reason to ever go through here, but, like, I am just ripping through here, and it doesn't care. That is so wild to me. The fact that this thing just rips through whatever and does not care and is not worried about it, that's probably one of the coolest parts of the entire truck to me. And the fact that it's got so much torque that you could just, like, you could shift it into high at basically whatever speed, and it's like, oh yeah, we're fine, we're just gonna take off now. It's so good! But if you guys enjoyed this look at this truck, make sure to hit that like button, and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And also, if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on, and I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later!